Class four here for race uh, number six, 1400 metres uh, is the trip. It's headed by Flying Victory. He's only had two starts, but if we win the last event over the 1200 metres, Zach Burton in the saddle. So up in trip for him. He's fresh up since April. Sam's love, Barry 11, he rolled forward last time out. The Empire Star, last start, course and distance winner, breaking through at start number 25. Bellagio, course and distance winner, two starts back. Have fun together. First start for Casper Founds, first start since January. Exceptional designer, the one likes to roll forward. He's got barrier four. Telecom Rocket from the 1,000 up to the 1,400 metres and down to Harper Century. It was fifth last time out behind Buddies. He's got barrier 14. Now, as far as Chung Fry is concerned, Sam's Love, Empire Star, Have Fun Together and Exceptional Desire have been up at Chung Fa, along with Nice Kick and Calling the Shots, who gets a start now at the expense of Golden General, who has been scratched. Speedwise, Brett, what we're looking at. Well, potentially good with Exceptional Desire, a noted front runner. Maboob uh, was uh, quite handy in a recent trial, but then he weakened out towards the end of that trial. Nice Kick, not too far away, you would think. Uh, from his barrier draw, he's been going quite well for the season. Have Fun Together is the interesting runner in the race. Um, now with, uh, obviously, Casper Founds, he's had four trials. He was handy in his most recent trial up at Chun Far. His last three have been there. Uh, here is uh, Flying Victory. He, uh, now, he had abnormal breathing on debut, then came out and won very impressively at a second start. So. Uh, two starts here for him. As track work suggests, he goes OK. There's no problems with him, and Zach per Perdon is sticking with him. Uh, Bellagio, he had uh, no, ex no uh, luck last time. He was blocked. He was lame uh, after the race as well. But he's come out of it OK, just working nicely enough here with pressure ship uh, and uh, no pressure on him as he comes down. And up in Chungfa, nice kick. He's been enjoying his time up there. He moves nicely enough as well. He should get a nice run from Barrier 2 as well, so he'll get his opportunity from, uh, from the draw. And he does it really nice and easily in this track week. Did it nice and easily in Class 5 as well. A couple mm. of starts back. Uh, nice kick. Let's start off, though, with uh, flying victory in that win last time out. Um, Paul touching on the fact that he made a, um, a noise on debut. They put a tongue tie on for a second start, a hood as well. And this is what happened. I think what we need to go back and reiterate is the fact that he was behind the gates on debut and the tongue tie came off and they tried to refit it and they couldn't get mm. it back on. And then he raced without it and had an abnormal breathing issue. And then at his second start, the tongue tie was on and he came out and won. So I think uh, he's a horse that's got some ability, judged on that performance, and he needs the tongue tie. And with it on there, I think he'll run another good race. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers as well. I think he'll run uh, pretty well. And, you know, he did that Darth Vader impression on debut, but second start, yeah. no problems whatsoever. It, it was an incident that just happened. They couldn't get the tongue tie yeah, on. He was very fractious. Empire Star. It's taken him a while to break through, but he did under Zach Purton last time out. Vincent Ho jumps on board here. Well, how often do we say it, Andrew? It takes them 20, 25 starts. Sometimes it's 30 to win one, and then they go on and win another one. Um, it could happen for Empire Star. He won this race by a head over Gracious Rider. He'll sit back. There'll be a tempo to run it. We're on the A course. Yeah, uh, yeah. as you said, he's he got his head in front at the right time. Barrier 9 might be just a bit tricky for him. I think he needs all the favours. All right, Dionysus Collin and Harvest Century take a check on them uh, here. Uh, Dionysus Collins had uh, seven starts. This was his best effort to date. I thought it was a good run too. Uh, he ran really nicely, this horse, uh, and uh, ran a really good second here behind uh, Buddies. And the Buddies, I think, is a really nice horse. So not a bad form race he's come out of. Hit the line very strongly. I found a place for him. I think he can run well. I wonder why Vincent Ho is not riding this horse, Dionysus Collin, because I think he's ready to win. I thought Vincent might have stuck with him, but yet Vincent... Takes the ride on Empire Star, the last start winner. Mm. He might have made a prior commitment to John Moore. We don't know really, do we? But uh, Bellagio, Paul, is uh, favourite at this stage. Yeah, I've got him on top. He had a uh, good win from him uh, two starts ago. Now with Ricky Year, of course. And then uh, he had all excuses in the world last time to just forget that run totally. He's on top to beat Flying Victory. He thinks a really nice horse. Just got that wide draw to overcome. The nicest Colin, we just saw him. And nice kick, I put him there for fourth as a Class 5 winner. But should get the best run in the race. 6-1, 12-10, I think six can win. Yeah, well, hopefully you're right, Paul, because if you can get to the last leg of the TT um, and Paul gets it right, then um, we'll be happy because I've got the same numbers too. <laughs> 6 1 12. Bellagio flying victory is the big danger. Dionysus Colin looks very close, and Empire Star is the last start winner. So 6 1 12 5. All right, again, I got the same cue just the other way around. I went 1 and 6 um, there, but again, as far as the TT is concerned, or the, uh, the DT is the first leg of the second mm. double trio as well, might be a good starting point for you. That is at race number six.